Has anybody question coach before we go into the last question? In a nutshell. To be honest, I think we were, were helped by the, the early goal because it now forced them to open up a little bit. Uh, under normal circumstances, they could have closed and made it very difficult to get that early goal. They were playing against teams that they were in low block. Uh, in Cuba, it became very difficult to get the early goal. We were able to, to create a very good situation from the uh, from our left channel, which resulted in a penalty which I think was legitimate. And then from the, 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 the game, we have control of the, of the game, and we wanted to invite their press. And now when they open up, I think they were to open in the midfield, and they gave us a little bit more space and time to be able to play between the lines. Uh, and it did not have the situation, the fact that we scored a second, and, uh, and the fact that because the game became so open, and it was always going to be too bad for them. But they are a very good team, but we make no mistake. We have identified them, we have identified their right back that we look for. Very good going forward, so we did not want to give them as much time. We identified the last defensive central midfielder, number three. Another very good player with a full range of passing, an exceptional gift at midfield. We know that if we don't give enough time and space to him, he's the one who is 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 the one of is the one who 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 is you may think, and we were fortunate to, to play open games that we were able to, to watch plus minus four of their matches. So we knew almost all the players that they had to be in substitute. So it gave us a little bit of interaction. Thank you for that, Coach. Uh, let me ask the members of the media as well. Yes, uh, good evening, Coach. Uh, we are from Newsroom Africa. No, that's a good coach. That's it. But we are from Newsroom Africa. Uh, congratulations on, on the win. I just wanted to touch on just maybe two of the players in terms of how you sort of saw their performance. When they were coming in the start of the season, a player like Ikram, we had sort of asked you to what role you would sort of, you sort of see him playing in, in the Sundowns setup. And you had mentioned the part of like a cap checkers with competition. I just wanted to get your thoughts in terms of now this match as it comes in. Did he turn up like you would possibly would have wanted him in this in sort of this competition? And if there are still areas that you see from him, from him to get to that level of this interclub competition, a new player then is a second. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, personally, I I regard if I'm uh, I like his ability to play in two space behind the defense. Sometimes he creates those moments by sometimes coming short and then bursting into the space that is open behind. And I like that. But we also want to see him as a nine in the team. Uh, today I used him specifically in that area because of, uh, I knew the, the, <coughs> the right center back, number 13, no, no, yeah, number 13, would, uh, would come with, with uh, Sales or the striker that we have. And you will have a slightly bigger hold in that space because their right back is the most influential player, so he will forever not be in the right defensive position. And that's why we used him in that area. And there are games where we are still going to use him in that space, but I, I do believe he will give us a very good line and he's got combination in that space, but I am very confident he will have us in that position. And when you go, I say, question. Another very bright uh, young talent uh, in South Africa. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people were even surprised when you cite him. I rate him very highly as a player. He can play both as a center back and a full back. Technically, very sound. Good engine, good personality, hard working young boy. Uh, and the future for the boys will be Another question? Yes, sir. Coach, um, you already told me about scoring and now going for one match. 
must be pleasing that the uh, guys are finally found this one touch. I, I was happy with, with scoring four goals, let's be honest. But uh, I'm still unhappy because I think we, we got a lot of other chances that we could have scored. And we did not take those chances. But, uh, in, in, in my space, I, I prefer that we, we try to improve our, our movements and our skills in the attitude there. But when we improve that, it must also result in goals being scored. In the games that we played against Bologna City and Stellenbosch, my complaint was not that we were not creating chances, it was, was that we are not scoring the chances that we get. And even today, I think we could have scored seven or eight uh, had we taken our chances, because we did get some very good chances, and we nullified the possibility of conceding from the opponents. But when you don't take your chances, the game in the latter stages, if it was one nil or uh, the, the few counter-attacks that they got when the got, 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 when the game got scraped in the latter stages of the game, it could have easily resulted in a one name for the opponents because we did not take the chances that we were supposed to take. I still believe the, the chances that we got were too many for us to be able to get as many goals as possible. And you will forgive me for being unhappy for not having scored as many goals as I thought we deserved because the same story when we played Polo one, I felt we should have scored four or five goals in the first 30 minutes of the game. But when it comes out at the end of the game and uh, you, you win with an own goal and everybody starts to talk about not scoring a goal and winning with an, with an own goal, it looks like we did not perform well. But the truth of the matter, the game we were put into the sort as quickly as possible. And we, we still have to improve in this aspect of scoring. In the Champions League sometimes we don't get as many chances. Yes, another question? Yes. I was wondering from the CBC was about uh, the importance of being in this match. Uh, also looking at uh, the second day. Also, how do you find complacency in the possibility of performing? And also, how important was this being with the man who started here for that sort of thing? Yeah. It's always important to, to win all your matches when you're in the team and seven years. The fact that we did not win convincingly in the, way, the game that we won against Oluwan uh, was we, we did win that game. I hear people saying it's not me, but I know that we won it. Uh, but the truth of, of the matter is we, we we always want to make sure that we excel in, 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 in the games that we play. And unfortunately, when we don't win, it looks like we have, we have not done enough. Maybe a win like this would really help uh, in the morale of the team going into the beginning of the championship. And for me, that is probably the most important because now that the championship has started, uh, we, we have no choice but to fight to make sure that we keep the team where it's supposed to be. And I'm, I'm very confident that we, we've got a good enough team to, to, to help us to achieve that. And going into the second leg of this match, to fight complacency at some of the biggest uh, advantage we have in this competition. And when you when you think you will sit in your laurels and play whenever you want to play, you will always have a problem with it because the small opportunity that you get that makes you to excel and everybody to respect you. The other player behind you is just waiting for that opportunity as well. But if I can get just one chance. To, to get a chance to play. Look at a player like Lennon today, how played. He's never been playing for, for the longest of time, but when he comes in and gives a performance like that, he's saying, why can't I continue? And you look at Tiwan and the way he performed, the question that he poses is, why can't I continue? And it becomes very difficult to, to take out players that have performed well and the team is winning. So that's why in a club like Sunderland, it's very important for each and every player to know that the, the little opportunity that you get, you, you must use it to good effect because you you will be pleasantly surprised to find yourself not playing and you are regarded as a top player. But you are not playing because the one who is playing at that point in time is doing well. Then what must we do? Must we be unfair to this year, the, this year, young staff just because we want to make sure that we accommodate somebody else? It does not work like that. So competition is always going 
to to help us in conditions like this. Yes, sir. Uh, coach, for example, I'm Ali from Mukura Radio. Uh, we noticed that a lot of the final players were not in the starting at Rana or on the bench. Can you please explain that? And do you have an update on Natalis's injury? We saw him play off in the first half as well. And then, yeah, I think he's going to. The first one of Sardis, we don't have uh, a clear diagnosis of the extent of the injury. But uh, at this stage, we think it was just a pose. Probably a very heavy pose that might have forced him to get out of the match. Uh, in terms of the Rafala players, we, we, we had to try and, and juggle with the team that we had. Because most of these boys played two 90 minutes, others played maybe 70 something in the 90 minutes. So we had to make sure that we tried to use more the ones that had less minutes or the ones that never got to play like cut. Uh, it was important for us to try and not and not bend our, our players who were coming from the front of the front. We had already played, if I don't mistake, six matches in less than 18 days. We count the games that we also played, and honestly, it was going to be very heavy on most of them. Guys, can you do the last one? Coach, just as a follow up on the Fafana player, how much did the um, Super Sport match on Tuesday uh, have an impact on, on, on the position of hosting them? Probably the Kyoto Fraser for that match. And also, we have views on Kosa. He looks solid. And, we know there were not too many questions asked, but um, he, he looks like uh, there's something there. Uh, to say we were resting them is, is, is a very good point. But sometimes uh, you, you rest someone, but the one that gets an opportunity to play does well. Then the question is what do you do? Do you, do you now take the one that has done well and bring the other one? because? He was out for this match. Sometimes that does not work in the club. Because these players are all good enough, and they are all waiting for their own opportunity. And when the opportunity prevails, and they take it with both hands, you have to continue sometimes. And if Rafana players happen to get an opportunity to, to start the next match, it will be their luck. But it will be unfair to the players that will perform very well in this match. But we, we have to look, we still have some training sessions. We don't know what is going to come out after after tomorrow because maybe tomorrow we'll see, we'll hear of niggling injuries that we're not even aware of. But the truth of the matter is we we have to respect the performance of those that we give an opportunity to play. And going to Kosa, I was I was talking about 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 him just before I came in. I rate him very highly. And I think the future of the is very bright. Technically, very good. Aerially, very solid. One against one, very, very solid. Uh, if there are still areas of improvement in this game, it's things that are very easy to deal with. But I have got a lot of confidence that it's going to play a lot of matches this season. Of course, you have just got a comment on the return of the goalkeeper. It makes a huge difference. It makes a huge difference. We even wish that maybe had we played the, the MTN8 matches with, with our, our, our best goalkeepers, it could have made a huge, huge difference. But credit must also be given to, to Jody Fabrani. I think defensively he was, he was very solid. He made some sterling saves. And uh, it is always nice at this stage when you know, even in the absence of Runway, you still have a Dennis, you still have a Jody. And there's another goalkeeper that not many people know called Sunday. He's a very good goalkeeper. And we also have Ria Peterson. All those goalkeepers were rate very high. It's a question of an opportunity. That's what I that's what I was saying with regard to other players that when when a, a player gets an opportunity sometimes and he plays and he does well, that he stays in the pitch. We will talk about the player and we will forget about the quality of the next player that is outside waiting for his opportunity as well. Because we, we still have players like Keegan uh, uh, Joannis, who I think is a, is a very good football player. 
we still have players like uh, Oye Will Savreda, whom I rate very highly. We still have Kutuano, we still have Mapena. All these players are waiting for their opportunities. And you don't know how this season will end. Who is going to end up being the biggest player for this team this, this season? And I just hope and pray that everybody amongst the playing squad is aware of the challenge that is coming ahead. Because sometimes we become too complacent and we start to listen to our, our own hype and forget that football is, is a game of moments. And in closing, coach, just at the back of what you've been saying with the players, you, you mentioned Mabo, for example, um, putting up their hands when they are given opportunities like that. Does it bring you comfort, especially in the absence of, like in this case, for final final players who would have been starting players? Does it give you comfort knowing that it, the other players being putting up their hands sort of creates more depth in the team, depth in the team? Especially when you look at the fact that this CAF competition demands a lot, but also you are in the midst of the other competitions like the Premiership starting, then you know that you've got a sort of wider pool to pick from. The fact that it's creating depth, that these other players are also putting up their hands, even the ones that are still waiting for the opportunities. Does that bring you comfort? It brings a lot of comfort. That's why we have a lot of so many players in the team. And what would not be nice is to have so many players, but you can only rely on a few. But when you put a, a possibility to have two or three good teams, uh, when you know you still have six competitions that you have to compete on, it then becomes very important that each and every player that raises his hand must always be embraced within the group and be assisted to make sure that he continues. Because uh, when, you, when you, you have a, a choice of the starting level and the other players are always looked at as just filling up the it does kill the morale of the players. But when players know this particular coach can play anyone, it, it helps. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, thank you very much, coach, for the future.